Hey everyone, welcome to new video by Talent Battle. Here I am excited to share another very interesting opportunity with all of you. This particular opportunity is a very famous opportunity. So TCS Code Vita has launched its 11th season. And this particular season, uh, 2024, 2025, 2026 and 2027 batch students are eligible. So basically the students from first year, second year, third year, final year students are eligible from all the institutes across the globe, okay? But you should be pursuing undergraduate, diploma, postgraduate from engineering or science background with any specialization, okay? So whether you are a mechanical student, civil student, electrical, computer science, any branch student can basically participate in this particular competition, okay? So guys, we are going to check more details about it. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon because we'll be sharing more such videos about TCS Code Vita, which will help you in preparing for the same, okay? And so let's start with the video. So what is there basically? So what is Code Vita? So Code Vita is a programming contest which TCS conducts every year and this has been the 11th season. So this is the 11th time they are conducting this particular competition. So the top three coders win a total prize money of around 20,000 US dollars. Okay. Ex chance to explore exciting careers with one of the world's most powerful brands. So TCS, everyone knows across the globe. So you get a chance to work at TCS. So basically what they do is they give uh, a chance to uh, get interviewed at TCS for the TCS digital profile. Okay. Uh, you get a chance to compete with some of the best coders in the world. You get your platform to showcase your programming skills. And basically guys, this is open for all branch students and all year students. So whether you are a final year, that is a 2024 batch, 2025, 2026, 2027 batch, anyone can participate in this particular journey. Now next, what is the step wise? What you need to do? So first is you need to register yourself for this particular opportunity. So I'm going to help you register for this particular opportunity. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process, how you can register. Next is you can take mock vitas. So code vita is the main exam. Mock vita is like a mock test, which will help you to give demo of the actual contest. Then uh, you have to clear the rounds to move further in your code vita journey. And then there is a finale. Okay. There are some sample questions which TCS has provided, uh, which are generally asked or that level of questions are asked in TCS code vita. So here are some of the sample questions in which they have given the problem description, input, output, the test cases, everything. And you need to solve such kind of problems. Here, uh, they have given a glimpse of the previous Code Vita uh, finale photos. So you can check. Okay, here are some FAQs. Basically, you can go through this particular FAQs as well. Now, let us check how you can uh, register for this particular opportunity. So you can just click on register. So here, first, you need to register yourself. Okay, here you have to select your country. So let me just select the country. Yes. So here you have to enter your first name, last name, email ID, your username. And you have to click on this particular two check boxes and click on register. So basically guys, you have to click here, accept, and then it will go ahead. Okay. Click on register. Okay. Now see, uh, once you click on register, you need to set up a mobile authenticator to activate your account. Okay. So what you need to do, install one of the following applications on your mobile. That is Microsoft authenticator, open the application and you have to scan this particular code, QR code. Okay. I enter the one time code provided by the application and then click on submit to finish the setup. Now what happens guys, every time probably when you log in, you have this particular app will give you a OTP and that you have to enter. Okay. So let me just first uh, install this particular app in my mobile and then I will scan it. Okay. So now it has given me the uh, one time code. So I'll just enter it. And I'll click on submit. Okay. So now once I submit, so here guys, uh, I need to put my contact number. Okay. Here I have to choose the nearest TCS location. Okay. Here academic year of graduation institute name. Okay. And, uh, so basically what you need to do once you register for the contest, you have to create a account on TCS next step portal. So this particular portal, you need to create your account. Okay. Why? Because you need, once you create an account on this next step portal, you will get a CT ID or a DT ID. Okay. That particular CT and D or DT ID, you have to enter over here and keep it in your profile. Because if you get an interview, if you don't do that, then you will not get interview call, even if you cleared the round. So basically uh, this particular contest prize money is one benefit, but the second benefit is basically you can get hired in TCS 
for TCS digital role. And if you want to get that particular opportunity, you have to enter your CT or DT ID over here. Okay. I'll just enter my contact number, choose the year of passing. Uh, I'll create an account over here, guys. <laughs> okay. So guys, once I complete the registration on my uh, portal on the TCS next step portal, you get this DT ID. This is a reference ID, which you need to copy and you need to paste over here. Okay. So guys, once you complete all the details, then you, this will become hundred percent completed. Now I go into the contest. Okay. And now I can just click on here by confirm and I can start the contest. Now, most important thing guys, before you start with the contest, make sure you read this properly. Okay. Because once you start with the contest, you will have six hours to complete. So moment you click on start contest, the contest is going to start and you will get six hours to complete all the problems given to you. Okay. So here you can check there is a coding area. There is a public test case submission, private test case submission. Uh, unevaluated submissions. There is some feedback form. There are graphs. Okay. So basically guys, uh, when, before you click on, uh, so this graph will help you to understand like, uh, your particular, um, statistics and everything. Okay. Here, uh, read these guidelines properly. Okay. So as you get up for the contest, below are the points, you will have six hours to complete all the problems given to you. Your six hours start moment. You click on start contest button after you log into code Vita app. Okay. Ensure that you log in at least uh, to the contest at least before it ends. If you log in with less than six hours remaining for the overall contest, you will only have to complete in less time. You have to submit solutions in uh, supported languages like C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Perl, Python, Ruby, PHP. Okay, these are the uh, languages which they have given. Okay. So uh, this is this is the uh, problem A. Problem B, problem C, problem D, problem E, problem F. So there are six problems, six hours, and you have to basically uh, submit all of these problems within six hours. Okay. So guys, uh, let me just uh, go back. So guys, most important thing is basically, uh, I have told you how to register and log in. Can I go back to welcome page after starting to answering uh, coding problems? Yes. Do I have to attempt the questions in serial order? No, there are six questions you can attempt in any order. Where can I see the list of languages? So basically most of the languages are available. If I move to question two without submitting question one, does the timer continue for question one? Yes, the timer will continue for question one. If I have referred used code from internet, do I have to declare the same? Yes. Before you submit the code, you will get an option. I would like to provide attribution to the following sources. Select this option before submitting. You are free to refer to other material, but you need to declare the source code. So basically they are uh, allowing you to take help from the internet, but you need to mention from where you have taken the help. Where can I check the status of the question submitted in the private test cases, submissions and the public test cases, submissions tab, you can check your status. Okay. How long before a session will expire? If you are not active on the system for more than 15 minutes, the session will expire. What is the purpose of code attribution? If an website or URL has been useful in arriving at the solution to the code beta problem, then you have to basically give the reference of that particular uh, website. Okay. Okay. Now, most important guys, if you are a 2024, 2025, 2026 or 2027 batch students, so you can prepare for placements with talent battle. So talent battle provides a complete masterclass and a super 40 batch. So super 40 batch is basically 40 students in a single batch who are prepared to for placements of service and product based companies. Okay. So in this, what we uh, provide is these are basically the course content. So aptitude from basic to advanced, all four programming languages, 25 plus projects, unlimited mock interviews, a uh, full stack developer certification program, data science, machine learning certification with projects, latest technology certifications, company specific preparation, soft skills, interview preparation and more and a lot more. Okay. So basically this is one particular, uh, you can say course, which will have everything required for placement preparation. Now, most important thing is these are the contents, but most important is that this particular super 40 batch will consist of only 40 students in a batch, which will help you to uh, gain personal mentorship. So each one will you, you will get a personal mentor whom you can contact anytime during your preparation. You get more than 2000 plus hours of learning content. You get doubt clearing support. 
your SWOT analysis is created basically to identify your strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Uh, there is a mandatory internship which Talent Battle will provide on our real-time projects in our company. It will be a virtual internship. And for each and every course which you complete, you get certification. Okay, the, You get live lectures, recorded lectures, and a lot of mentorship provided from Talent Battle team. These are different courses in this. Okay. So if you are a 2025 uh, batch student, then you can go for a two-year subscription. If you are a 2024 batch student, you can go for a one-year subscription. And if you are a 2026 or 2027 batch student, you can go for a three-year subscription of Super 40 batch. If you don't want Super 40, you can even go for a regular masterclass, basically, which is a six months and a 12 months option. So the difference between regular masterclass and uh, Super 40 batch is that the content is same. Okay, the content for both is same. The difference is in between the uh, features. So in a uh, regular masterclass, you get group mentorship. In Super 40 Badge, you get personalized mentorship. Okay. So these kind of differences are basically provided. Okay. I, uh, if you are interested in knowing the exact all the differences, you can just message our team. I have provided the contact number in the description of this particular video. So you can get in touch with us, have a call with our mentor and understand what is basically Super 40 placement preparation by Talent Battle. Okay. Uh, you can even join with our latest uh, offers. New batch for Super 40 starts on 6th of October. Okay. So if you're interested, just get in touch with us. We'll call you, give you all details, and then you can start preparing. Okay. So uh, one more very important thing, guys. Uh, if you want to prepare for placements and are not getting the right direction, you can attend our free webinar for placement preparation. The link for webinar registration is there in the description of this particular video. Okay. So thank you all of you for watching this video till the end and see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and press the bell icon because we'll come up with a lot of more inputs regarding Code Vita as well. Thank you and see you all in the next video.